Now, even as chaos and anarchy takes over Sri Lanka, there is still no sign of resignation from President Gotabhaya Rajapaksa. Despite a clarion call for his ouster from angry protesters and opposition alike. As on July 13th, that is on Wednesday, passed by the day when Gotabaya had promised to resign. Opposition targeted the ruling Sri Lankan Podujana Perumuna Party government. Main opposition party Samagi Jana Balavigya accused Gotabaya Assembly Speaker and the Prime Minister of lying over President's resignation bid. This comes after thousands of protesters stormed the Prime Minister's office on Wednesday. With slogans against the government and demanding Gotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation immediately, Sri Lanka police used tear gas to disperse the protesting crowd. The protesters were angry over emergency imposed in the country after its president fled to Maldives. Later in the day, the agitators protested near the Assembly Speaker's residence, which is close to the Lankan Parliament. Police fired tear gas and used water cannons to stop the angry mob. Looking at the lawlessness, the newly appointed acting president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, ordered security forces to protect the parliament and restore the order. A curfew was also imposed in the country till Thursday early morning to take control of the situation after protesters stormed the streets of Colombo. This as Sri Lanka continues to witness both political and economic turmoil for months now. With exhausted foreign reserves and no money to import even the essential commodities in the country. <laughs> Abhi aaya, abhi aaya, abhi aaya.